Well, hello IDS 104 students and welcome to week six here in your IDS 104 classroom. I wanted to take just a quick moment and show you how to find, navigate, and submit your week six module six expert evaluator activity assignment. So first and foremost, as always, remember that you can always find your module assignments by clicking on course menu, going to learning modules, and then you want to look for the week that you're on. So for this week, it would be week six, module six. As a reminder, you can always see an overview of what's due for the week. So here for week six, you have a discussion assignment. Remember that initial discussion post is always due by Thursday or before is convenient for your schedule and then responding to at least two of your classmates by Sunday or before as convenient for your schedule. This week's discussion is just a little bit different. You wanna make sure that you click on these discussion scenarios and review the scenarios that are listed, pick one of those scenarios and then answer the initial post questions, okay? If you get stuck or have questions about this, please reach out directly to your instructor. Again, initial discussion post due by Thursday, peer responses due by Sunday. The next assignment you have is this expert evaluator activity assignment. What you wanna do for this assignment is always click on the guidelines and rubric in the overview of the actual assignment. So the purpose of this assignment is to really help you understand the variety and types of information that is constantly coming at us in our digital world, okay? So this is a really hands-on practical assignment that I actually have enjoyed um, doing because it really pointed out how to kind of understand what's a reliable or credible source, what is it, especially in the world of social media, we always have so much stuff coming at us. I really think that y'all will enjoy this assignment because it really helps you develop some skill set that you can use every day, but also in your professional, personal, and academic life. So as always, remember to review the overview and the directions, and then you will see under what to submit, you will see this supporting material section where the expert evaluator activity link, when you click on this link, it will take you to the actual um, activity itself. But then you will also see this expert evaluator activity, how to download your statement of completion. When you click on that, it gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to download that statement of completion that you will submit and upload in a PDF format for your instructor to actually grade your assignment. So what I wanted to show you really quickly is that when you click on this expert evaluator activity, it will open it up. Now, a couple of things I wanted to point out as you scroll through and read the directions and the information, it'll remind you to, but it is so important that you understand that number one, once you start this activity assignment, you have to finish it. There is not a way to save this assignment. You cannot refresh your page or come back and answer questions and pick up where you left off. It will not allow that, okay? So don't refresh or navigate, navigate away from this webpage. Once you start it, make sure you can finish it. So also that means to make sure that you have a very reliable internet connection. Um, if for some reason you navigate away, um, please know that you can always go back and start this from the very beginning, okay? And you wanted to, to make sure you're using this on a laptop or a computer. On your phones, it's just not recommended. It doesn't work always correctly. So if you do not, for some reason, have a computer or laptop at your household, see if you can go to the local library or even work on one that maybe is, belongs to a friend or a family member, okay? The most important thing is once you finish this activity and submit all of your responses, there's a statement of completion that you need to save in a PDF format and upload under your module six um, expert evaluator activity assignment area for credit for this assignment. So I just wanted to show you really quick that when you start, you're just gonna type your name in. So let's use me as an example here. And you're going to then click the arrow. You are going to be reviewing a situation, okay? A tragedy has occurred and there's all this media coverage about it, all right? So it's gonna walk you through the different types of things that are out there um, and it's gonna go through some different tools for you to know for your success. And then as you read the information, click the arrows to navigate through. There are some videos actually linked in this expert evaluator activity. So make sure you review, push the play button to review those videos. When you are finished with them, you can then just arrow over. 
please pay attention and review the directions for each slide because you will notice there's a lot of information on these little flashing yellow dots. When you click on them, it'll pull up information that you will need to help you be successful in answering these questions, okay? When you get to a question spot, they look like this, and you wanna make sure that you read the instructions because most of them will say like, check all that apply. And then when you do that, you wanna, once you're like, yep, these are my answers, you wanna click confirm, it'll tell you yes, good job, and allow you to move forward. Or it'll say, hey, let's maybe read that information again and go back. Once you get all the way to the end, you will actually see a spot where you can pull up your statement of completion, okay? It'll bring up all of your answers. You'll click submit, and then it's gonna pull up this document that says expert evaluator statement of completion. It'll have your name on it. It'll have the course on it. It'll have the date and time that you took this assignment. And what you wanna make sure you do is you'll see there's an option to email, print, or PDF. First, you wanna always save that as a PDF. So when you click on PDF, for most of you, it'll actually create a PDF document and download it to either your download section um, of your technology source, or it'll create the document just like this, okay? So you'll notice that it's right here. Once it's saved in that PDF format, there it is for me. I would just save this to my system and upload it for my instructor to be able to grade. If you get stuck, if you have any questions, it is so important to reach out directly to your instructor. Remember, have a reliable internet connection. You wanna do this from a laptop um, or a desktop. That is the best way to take this. Once you start it, you wanna be able to finish it. It takes maybe about 45 minutes to an hour or less, depending on how you review information. But again, once you start, you don't wanna refresh or navigate away. You wanna go from start to finish and then click submit when you get to the statement of completion. Again, you want to save that as a PDF to be able to be uploaded. This assignment is due by Sunday of week six, module six. If you have any questions or get stuck, please reach out directly to your course instructor. You got this, y'all. Enjoy.